What's going on Legionnaires and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you're new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button, hit that notification bell and make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. And for this video, we're going to be jumping into Black Cat by Marvel Comics issue number 4. Now if you haven't been keeping up with this line, it started during the King in Black event. It was actually a lot of fun. And it's the reason that we're covering this comic now because I thoroughly enjoyed everything that she did during the King in Black line. Now if you haven't been keeping up with this, go ahead and check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It's going to take you to a playlist that's going to get you completely caught up on everything that's been going on in the Black Cat line. Now this is written by Jed McKee. Artist is Nina Vakuva. Color artist is Brian Reber. And letterer is Fernan Delgada. Now, as it stands right now, Felicia Hardy, she's just got done helping fight off, repel the, the planet-wide invasion of all of the symbiotes, as well as the god known as Noel. And with the King in Black whole event being over, she's done helping the heroes out, and she goes back to doing what she knows best. And that's crime. That's stealing. That's being the best renowned jewel thief in the world. Now, at this point, she's pulled off a series of heists. From stealing from the Fret Collection, the Fantastic Four, Doctor Strange, Wolverine, Iron Man, and Iron Fist. Now everything she's stolen up to this point has been in service of an ultimate heist. Breaking into the extra dimensional vault of the New York Thieves Guild. Currently run by Odessa Drake. Now with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright, so as we jump into this issue, we're met by Queen Cat. AKA Lily Hollister. Now Queen Cat's whole goal has always been to be a superhero. That's what she's wanted for as long as she can remember. Though her memory isn't that extensive because it only spans a year and a half. When she had climbed out of a, a freezing river and her brain had been scrubbed of all memories of all the life that she had prior to that river. And so up to this point she's kept a journal trying to remember exactly everything that's happened, everything that's happened in this last year and a half, trying to figure out exactly who she is, because right now she's in the middle of an identity crisis. The Hobgoblin had came in and gave her, gave her a name and a costume, gave her the opportunity to be one of the Hob heroes when he was on his I'm gonna be a good guy kick. And though the Hobgoblin didn't stay on the straight and narrow for very long, Queen Cat wanted to be a hero and continued on that path. You know, for her, it's become such a huge part of her identity. The Queen Cat being a superhero, so straying away from that course wasn't something that she was willing or even able to do. It's all she's known, and it's all that she has. You know, she doesn't know much about her past, but what she does remember is that it wasn't good. There was nothing good about the person she was prior to climbing out of that river and so now she has a new clean life a good life a a heroic life and it's almost perfect except for one thing except for felicia hardy the black cat the original and if she's the original then it makes queen cat feel like she's a nobody just a copycat in, in a costume that's not living up to any kind of standards now right now she's been working as a caterer She's doing this to try to make ends meet. You know, she doesn't have a, a legal identity, but temp agencies never really care too much and always need the extra hand. And with there also being an outbreak of Ebola, there's a lot of temp jobs out there and there's a lot uh, of temp workers flooding to the work. But as she's doing this catering event, she sees a familiar face. She sees Felicia. She sees Black Cat. And she seems to be eyeballing some of this artwork that she's at. And as Queen Cat tries to make her way through the crowd to try to find out what's going on, Felicia's already made her way outside and is getting into a vehicle. Now Queen Cat followed behind to see exactly what's going on here. But it seems more or less that Black Cat set up a heist is working with people that are posing as security and as caterers. And this was a job. This was a heist. And Queen Cat knows it. But there's absolutely nothing she can do. Nothing to, to change the outcome. This heist has already happened. And they're already out the door. Now we pick up a little bit later. And she's sitting on the rooftop with Water Wizard. And they're talking about everything that's happened at this point. 
talking about how Felicia is kind of one step ahead of her. And she's really feeling like she's just not a hero at all. And that they're, you know, people like her are able to steal right from under her nose. And she, she does nothing. You know, Spider-Man would have never let that happen. And there's, there's no warrants out for her arrest. No evidence that she even committed this crime. She was on camera the entire time. But the cameras that were watching the painting were knocked out. And right now, she's just mentally exhausted with everything going on. You know, Lily Hollister, the person she technically is, has a rich father. But that's not who she believes she is, you know? She's not Lily Hollister anymore. She's the queen cat, and, and Lily Hollister is just the name of the previous person that once occupied this body. But the individual she is now... She doesn't see herself as Lily at all. You no, know, she doesn't remember anything from before and might as well be someone else's life because essentially it did happen to someone else. And so right now she's just struggling, struggling so hard with this identity crisis, trying to figure out exactly who she is outside of the costume. But she still has work to do and so she's going to go try to catch Black Cat, try to catch her red-handed, being able to bring her down. And so Queen Cat follows her. Follows her to 4 Nancy Street. On 4 Yancey Street, she sees the same thing she's seen over and over. Black Cat working with her little henchmen, and it looks like they're pulling off little heists everywhere they go. But it's still leaving her with tons of questions and nothing in the way of answers. Now, about a month and a half later, we pick up at the Kaplan party. And we have Queen Cat going up to Sunny Ocampo, formal, former member of the Guild of Thieves or the Thieves Guild. Now she's coming up here fronting as a police officer trying to get information about Black Cat. But Sonny, he's just like, yeah, you're not a cop. Like, I know what a cop is. I'm an ex-con. I deal with cops on the regular anytime they want to kind of stir up some trouble and try to get some information. You're obviously not a cop, but I'll sit down and I'll talk with you. Like, what do you, what do you want to know? And she lets him know, like, I I'm looking for Black Cat. I I'm trying to find as much information on her as I can. And he lets her know, like, good luck trying to trying to find her, trying to catch her. You know, there's been many that have tried. You're definitely not going to be the first one. And and she tells him, you know, my, my whole goal here is I have to catch her. You know, she may be good. She may be one of the best. But I have no other option. This is my literal life purpose right now. And he tells her, like, good luck. Like, I, I wish the best to you. You know, you figure all this out. You figure you're still in one piece at the end of this. Look me up. I'll set you up with some catering work. Now, we pick up a little bit later on the rooftop. And though that lead was relatively useless for her, she's going to stake out all the rest of the individuals. Try to find them the best she can. And this is where she gets an idea to stake out a, a sushi place that they're known to go and get food at. And this is where she gets a hit. She spots one of the guys that's been helping her out. And so this gives her the opportunity to follow and figure out exactly where they are. Now, we pick up a little bit later, and she's in her room writing in her in her journal. And she's followed this guy to New Jersey. Following him to New Jersey, seeing that he's an older guy, she tries to get the upper hand. Steal whatever he's got in his hands, kind of like sending a message to Black Cat. And Queen Cat, she comes out on top. Barely, but she comes out on top. This guy definitely just rung her through the ringer but she gets whatever he had on him and takes it back to her apartment kind of using it as bait or, or catnip if you will to bring black cat in lure her in to try to be able to bring her down and this is where we see someone break into her apartment shotgun blast straight to the chest but it's only a beanbag but it makes her arm her arm essentially numb paralyzed to a point realizing she has no option here she jumps out the window and grabs on to the fire ladder making her way to the rooftop this is where she's met by felicia this is where she's met by black cat and and queen cat's confused she's just like how like how is it possible that you found me you figured out where i was so fast and black cat lets her know like you really think we're so dumb that we're not going to microchip the stuff that we stole just in case someone tries to steal it from us. Like, this isn't our first rodeo. We were on you the second that you stopped moving. And Queen Cat, you know, she tries to play it off. She's like, oh, yeah, well, it all worked. I lured you here. This was all part of the plan because I'm going to bring you in. I'm going to... I'm going to take you to jail. And this is where Black Cat asks her, like, alright, let's, let's start over from, from point A. Like... What is your game at? And she tells her, like, I'm I'm a hero and you're a villain. It's as simple as that. And I'm going to take you to jail. 
And Black Cat tells her, like, all right, like, you can try, but much better people that, than you have tried, but there's always a lesson to be learned. And this is where Black Cat recognizes who she is, recognizes her as Lily Hollister, someone who was once a menace. And so we have a, a little rich girl that's trying, trying to be a hero, but was once a villain. Now, she was said to be dead, so Black Cat's a little bit confused on that. But Queen Cat lets her know, like, that that person is dead. She doesn't exist anymore, and I am the person now in her place. Queen Cat is all that there is. And Felicia tells her, like, just give it up. Go back to being Lily Hollister. This life isn't for you. And then she tells her, you know what, you know, most people, they would say that you're crazy. A superhero with amnesia in an ongoing identity crisis is, is, is and can be an extremely dangerous thing. But for Felicia, she loves it. You know, not long ago, she was in a bad way as well. Did a lot of bad things, hurt a lot of people, kind of like she did, kind of like Lily had done. So if someone wants to change who they were, Felicia is all for it. And she tells her, you know, go be Queen Cat, go be a superhero, but just remember you still stole from me and you beat up my guy. So there is a price to pay for this. And we pick up a little bit later, Queen Cat in her apartment, in her bed, knocked out cold, beat the hell up with a letter from Black Cat, letting her know, you know, she's sorry. Sorry I sucker punched you. You know, she likes a good cat and mouse game, but a, a cat and cat game, she, she enjoys that even more. And continues to tell her, like, you didn't get me this time, but, you know, you're always welcome to try again. You know, I've been at this game a long time, and if you want to be a superhero, you need a foil. You need a, a counterpoint. You need an arch nemesis. Spider-Man has Venom. Mr. Fantastic has Doctor Doom. Wolverine and Sabretooth. Tony Stark and his bourbon. And now, Queen Cat and Black Cat. Two sides of the same coin, light and dark and tells her to catch me if you can because this game has just begun and that she'll see her on the rooftops. Leaving behind a picture of Black Cat taking a selfie with Queen Cat knocked out on the ground. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Personally, I absolutely loved it. You know, Black Cat's line so far with everything that happened in the King in Black was a lot of fun. But this, I, th I think, is even more fun. We're seeing a, a rivalry really starting to begin here. You know, between King Cat and Black Cat. You know, Queen Cat is just really new, really novice, trying to make her name a as a superhero going against. And so Queen Cat's going to have her work cut out for her. You know, this is going to be very interesting. I'm very excited to see uh, Felicia try to get into the Thieves Guild. And I'm really excited to see how this superhero, how Queen Cat decides that she's going to be how she's going to operate and if she's going to be able to outsmart black cat herself but yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comments if you have not yet please do me a favor subscribe to the channel like this video hit that notification bell and until the next breakdown